so i purchased the cheapest hosting on the internet so you don't have to it cost only 200 indian rupees per year and the same recurring fees every year instead like some other website where you have to pay up front three years hosting for you know cheap price so friends this has to always access brand and there are some red flashes which you should know before buying the cheapest hosting available so without wasting a single moment let's begin purchasing a hosting from this website is pretty easy my experience till now is amazing all you have to do is select the hosting and enter your domain and yeah you can just pay it it supports all the major payments and heck yeah it even supports paytm to pay with and once you are done with the payment within 15 minutes you will receive a email with the name servers ip hosting your login etc etc and all the things are mentioned in the single email which makes everything more easy and also you can log in directly to the panel via their own website it will redirect you to their panel and it will log in for you so you don't really need to enter the password again and again for the panel it is more or less like any other hosting if you are familiar with but if you are not then this is really simple and we get direct admin here instead of cpanel cpanel is pretty famous but they don't provide cpanel which is not really big of a deal because direct admin is just good enough and the support of subtaculus enables you to install hundreds of apps but let me be more specific you can install wordpress with one single click installation so yeah it's fantastic the bandwidth we get is unlimited but that doesn't really matter because we are getting only 200 mb of solid state drive space which is really less so from my experience if you are building a static website which you don't really need to update from time to time like you are building a resume then 200 mb is amazing but if you will be posting something regularly then i might suggest you to get the hosting which is under 500 rupees uh, approximately 500 rupees uh, it contains more space and it will be enough for your normal blogging stuff because uh, wordpress itself takes 100 mb after installation and you will be left with only 100 mb so for example you blog you will be able to post approximately 100 posts only because your every post must contain a high quality image and uh, high quality image at least have 1 mb So yeah, you can't really post much. Now speaking of the uptime, I've been using this service for around a week and I didn't face any issues. And upon googling about this hosting, all the reviews were pretty positive. So yeah, you don't really need to worry about the uptime. Everything about this hosting is pretty amazing. The email service works perfectly. Unlike some other hosting, they provide unlimited bandwidth. The only thing which I don't like is 200 MB of disk space. It is really low. But when I say we are only paying 200 per year, it doesn't really matter. So this is a shared hosting, of course, because for such cheap you can't get a private hosting. So what does the shared hosting means? It is like renting an apartment, but the other apartment owners cannot see what you are doing, or you cannot see what they are doing. Hope you guys enjoyed my video, and just a quick suggestion: if you are going to regularly blog, this is an amazing hosting. All you need to do is. Uh, take the package which has more disk space around 400 mb or 1 gb as per your preference and also you can upgrade your hosting every year so start with the basic like 400 mb and then in the future you can of course upgrade your hosting and peace out